So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the simple steps to remove and install a built-in microwave. As you can see, I've got a unit here that I've removed from a cabinet. Your first step should be to unplug the microwave from its socket. Once the microwave has been unplugged, you should open the door. Once you've opened the door, just to the base of the panel of the microwave, you would see a small cap. The cap looks like this. Remove that cap and you should find a screw. It's usually a Phillip head screw. You can simply remove that screw. Again, it would be found just to the base of the microwave once the door has been opened. After removing that screw, you should find that the unit becomes loose from its enclosure. While pulling out the microwave, there would be an adjustable screw attached to the top of the microwave. Keep turning that screw so it becomes lower and then the entire microwave should be easily removed from the cabinet. To reinstall the microwave, we would do the reverse. You would place the microwave back into the slot. For example's sake, let's say this would be the top panel of the slot you would be replacing the microwave. There would be an opening once you've got the microwave partially into the slot where you can slip your hands in and again you would adjust the screw this time raising the screw so it becomes higher this way it locks the microwave in place from tilting forward once the entire microwave has been fitted into the slot it will become flush against the panel so the entire thing is sealed this is because of the slope and shape of the microwave once you've got the microwave fully into the slot, you would again replace your Phillip, your Phillip head screw and place your cap on top of the screw hole. So that's it. It's a quite simple process. Don't be put off by doing it. The entire process should only take you a few minutes. One caveat though, in some cases you may find that your microwave was installed and your plug was fitted through a small hole. The way this was done was by removing the screws on the head of the plug so then the cable could be fed through the small hole and then the head was reinstalled to the plug. Now, I won't advise you doing this unless you're qualified to do so. However, I just wanted you to know how that was done. Another option would be to simply create a larger hole. I've got a video about using a hole saw to complete such a task. Hope you found this useful. See you again in the next video.